Hi everybody and welcome to the season premiere of the Racer Report with head coach Chris Hatcher. I'm Dave Winder, your host, and we'll be here each week during the 2012 season bringing you the best of Murray State football. We feel like it's going to be a great season. The Racers reported for training camp at the beginning of August and they've had a great, great month here as we're now into game week as the Racers will be traveling on this next weekend to play Florida State on Saturday. Now, let's go back to a week ago Friday. The Racers had their last full speed scrimmage and we saw a lot of good things on both sides of the ball. We saw more depth on defense. We saw more speed on defense. We saw that great hatch attack offense. But the big thing is camp is over. It's game week and the Racers are ready to take on Florida State. Well, that will bring us to the start of the 2012 season and it's going to be in Tallahassee as the racers uh, take off this Saturday for a 5 o'clock Central Time game at Florida State. We're looking forward to that. It's going to be on ESPN3 so the fans that can't make the trip can can watch it. Of course, you'll be able to listen to the game on radio with Neil Bradley on the Racer Radio Network. Dave Winder here on our set in the Racer Room today in Stewart Stadium with head coach Chris Hatcher. Fresh off the practice field today. You rushed right in here, coach, uh, to, to talk to us today. How are things going for the team? Well, they're going good, Dave. I tell you, it's um, good to be back doing this show. That signals that football season is rapidly approaching. Um, I, I promise you I'll be better <laughs> dressed on the next show. But, That's um, all right. Um, you know, it was one of the hotter days we've had out in, in a while. We've had a relatively cool camp, um, which I think's really kind of helped our guys be able to focus on the techniques and not have to worry about the heat that much. So we've had a good camp. We're getting ready for game one. It's going to be a biggie. It's going to be a toughie, too. Well, I know every uh, coaching staff uh, goes into that first game with uh, uh, some jitters and unknowns because this team's different than last year. Next year's team will be different than this year. Uh, how, how are you feeling as a coaching staff? You know, you're going up against a top 10 opponent. Well, it's, it's very difficult always starting a new season because there are just so many nuances you have to put in. Um, that maybe the regular fan doesn't, doesn't realize that yet. You know, you got to be ready for just about everything that could possibly occur. Um, but then we have so many young players, so many first timers that'll take the field. Um, and then to make matters worse, if you will, <laughs> we go play the seventh ranked team um, in the, the FBS, yeah, right. the Florida State Seminoles game one. So, um, you know, we'll find out in a hurry what we're made out of. Um, you know, we'll, um, I'm sure they'll, they'll have have us outmanned at certain positions, but we're going to go down. we got a good plan, got a good group of boys that have worked hard, and I'm really excited for them as well as me to be on that, to be on that stage um, game one. Well, it's going to be great to see the racers on that stage, and what we want to do here today, our mission today is to kind of give you a snapshot of what's been going on in camp and uh, some of the names you can look for this season. We'll, so we'll take our first break here on the Racer Report with head coach Chris Hatcher and come back in just a moment. Like the thoroughbreds we are named for, racers are spirited and proud. We have the heart and will to succeed, to go farther, learn more, and embrace wisdom. We are champions who take our place in the Murray State tradition. 
We are racers. Roof Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers, locally owned, family run. Roof Brothers, the best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers, service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers, two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers, proud supporters of Murray State Athletics. Hi folks and welcome back to the Racer Report with Head Coach Chris Hatcher, Dave Winder here. And Coach, I'm excited about this season. Uh, you know, the Racers are coming off their, their first back-to-back -back winning season since 99-2000. A lot of momentum last year, winning five out of the last six games. And, you know, that win at Tennessee Tech was big. The win at SEMO was big there to, to finish the season. Offensively, your team really got going last season. I think you've got the best quarterback in the country in Casey Brockman. We'll visit with him in just a moment. But tell us a little bit about how the offense has been coming. Well, I think we started spring or the summer camp a little slow, and a lot of that I think our defense has much improved. But um, as time went on, we've, Casey's really gotten a good rapport with the new receiving core. Our running game's gotten better, but it all starts up front. I think we got five really good offensive linemen that are good in our system. They understand what um, they need to do to protect that passer. And then when you have a guy um, of, of Casey's stature who's been in the system two years, put up um, huge numbers both of those seasons. Um, I expect great things from this offense. And I've always said, if you have a quarterback that can stay with you for three seasons, that third season is going to be something special. And I hope this year proves that to be true. And, and Casey, uh, you know, he, he really took to the way you play football. Right? I mean, well, he, he picked it up quickly. Well, he did. And, you know, he's got a good background in high school, ran a similar system. And, you know, you always hear people say, well, he's a product of the system. But all quarterbacks are a product of the system. And, you know, we have a system in place that fits Casey's style. Casey's style fits our system very well, which is just a perfect marriage. And, um, again, we expect him to have a, a good year. And let it be known out there and you know no um surprise that um as he goes our offense goes so there's a lot of a lot of heat on him as well yeah there's a lot of responsibility for casey brockman and uh we had a chance to catch up with the senior quarterback the hometown kid from murray kentucky and here's that interview well casey uh, it's hard to believe what we're standing here and it's your senior season it seemed like you just got here have you had a, a chance to to think about uh it's uh, your senior season coming up here all starting this week I mean, it's kind of kicked in a little bit, but it's still, I mean, it won't, I don't think it'll all sink in until after the season when I realize it's all over, but it's gone by fast, but, um, you know, I think we got one more uh, goal to accomplish before I get out of here, and that's the win overseas championship, so hadn't done that yet, so hopefully um, I can do that, you know, in my senior season. You've been such a big part of this offense, and you look at what you were able to do last year with that talented running back, Mike Harris, and then all those great receivers you had. Um, the racers have a great stable of receivers coming back. Dwayne Brady's going to start off as your as your your top running back. Um, how do you see the offense evolving here from game one against Florida State? Um, you know we've got a, like you said we got a lot of guys returning, so you know that's good because we can pick up what kind of where we left off last year. But at the same time, you know we we're a whole new offense, whole new identity um, with our receivers coming back, and you know we still don't really know, you know some of the O-line questions, just, you know, the new guys on the left side of the line, and, you know, just who's going to be able to take the 20, 25 carries a game like Mike did last year. You know, there's, there's still some questions to be answered, but that's what makes it exciting. That's what makes it fun. And, you know, I think we've got plenty of weapons to uh, to score some points, and that's that's what I think excites everybody the most is how many how many weapons we have returning that, that played last year and produced. Coach Hatcher mentioned that uh, you're a quarterback that's tailored for the hatch attack. T tell us how much fun it is to play in this offense. It's got to be a blast. I mean, it's fun when you're – throwing it 60 times a game and I mean it wouldn't be funny if you're throwing it 60 times a game because you're down by 40 and having to do that but you know we do it because that's how our offense is and it's it's fun it's you know playing such a fast tempo makes it even that much better um, but I think that my style fits the system that we run and I think um, I guess it's two match made in heaven I guess you could say but uh, I enjoy it I think I, all the receivers enjoy catching it you know 10 15 times a game whoever's getting to load that game so um, it makes it enjoyable, and even, you know, I throw it 60 times a game, but our running back gets 20, 25 carries, so just because how many plays we run. So that, in all, everybody's happy, and everybody um, um, enjoys it, and scoring points makes it even funner. F 15 seconds. What's it mean to be a racer to you? Uh, everything, really. I mean, growing up, going to basketball games, traveling to Puerto Rico, Hawaii, wherever we travel for basketball games, and 
um, you know, playing football here now and going to college here. It's, it's everything, and I couldn't ask for anything better. Well, I always enjoy visiting with Casey Brockman. He's such a good spokesperson for the team. He's a great quarterback, but you know, Coach, he's got a lot of great players around him. Uh, Dwayne Brady's going to be your number one running back. You've got some other people who are going to be able to run the ball, too. Tell us about that. Well, right now, Dwayne's number one. He's the only guy coming back with experience. Um, Jordan Morrow, the transfer out of junior college, um, um, a, a small guy in stature, but no, he no, runs extremely big. Well, um, <laughs> you know, I can't say that on the on, on camera. We're, we're keeping that a secret, but um, he's not a big guy, to say the least. But he's fast. But he can run, and um, he's had a great camp. We've really been pleased with him. If he gets in the open field, he's hard to tackle. Um, freshman Pokey Harris is backing him up. Marcus Holiday's in the mix. And then the, the wild card is Jamal Berry, the mm -hmm. transfer from Ohio State. Um, he's not in shape. Um, he, you know, he's still not cleared to play in games yet. So, you know, we're kind of having to be very careful about how many reps we're able to give him at this time. But hopefully he'll be as good as advertised. Out wide, Walter Powell has, an, has had an exceptional spring as well as a camp. He'll be a go-to guy, number nine, so we need to keep a close eye on him. Pat Robertson's back. Newcomer Dontel um, um, uh, Watkins. Watkins is back, number 17, back from the spring. Big, tall receiver with great sp speed. Um, so, you know, those are some yeah, guys on Javante the outside. Tr Trotter as well. Inside guys, Trotter, yeah. great route runner, made big catches over the years. Hannibal Buford. Um, has done a good job. Navar Griffin, 85, yeah. um, really came on strong. He was a walk-on last season, earned a scholarship. But two guys that have really stood out are freshman Jeremy Harness and Janowski Davis. And you're going to see some things from those guys this year. And I think they have a chance to be very special. Well, you Racer fans watching this season preview of the Racer Report, you've got to be encouraged. I mean, Coach just named off 12 guys that are great, great receivers. Uh, you're deep at that position. Then we go back to go back to offensive line. Uh, that group has been together now, going on three seasons as well, and they've come a long way. They too. have come a long ways. You know, they're, they're a solid group led by Harris Biven and Brock Rydecki are two centers. Andy Mahoney um, and Roddy Tomlin, our right guard and right tackle, are kind of unsung heroes, but they're just solid guys. Well, the whole guys. offensive line is unsung. Yeah, I know, you know, but they're solid guys that don't get the credit they deserve. But on the left side, that's you know we're replacing mm -hmm. those guys. Right. Zach Littlefield. Um, a, a, a sophomore force who played sparingly last year. Well, he'll start at left guard. Um, Robert Olive will be the, the swing guy there who's really come on well, former Murray High standout. We're really excited about um, how much he's progressed out of a predominantly run offense to our passing game. And then left tackle, um, Drew Kelly and Hunter Hogan will battle that out. So the left the left side and running back are really the only two spots on the offensive unit that has not been tested like it's, I would like for them to have been tested. Yeah, well, it's going to get tested uh, Saturday <laughs> when the racers go to Florida State. So that's a look at the offense. Things are bright on that side of the ball, and they're also bright on defense as well. We'll take a break here with Chris Hatcher and come back. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about the defense next on the Racer Report. Roof Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers. Locally owned, family run. Roof Brothers, the best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers, service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers, two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers, proud supporters of Murray State Athletics. Explore a new world. 
عالم جدير بالاكتشافات انت اكيد انا بيت خوش في عدة وتكريتها ينيانز كشفت تشانج جو ليدك مي لاي فرس فافرين كو بلاغو تك عين دي طورة نيك نان جارون باك دنيا اندا وانتو بي جلا جاهي تان سوان دو شجية Murray State University Your World to Explore Hi, folks, and welcome back to the Racer Report with head coach Chris Hatcher, Dave Winder here as we uh, take a look at the 2012 season. The Racers go into Florida State Saturday uh, for a 5 o'clock Central Time game. That game's on ESPN3, and it'll be great going down to Tallahassee for the, for the first game of the season. Coach, I watched your defense a week ago Friday at that last scrimmage, and uh, you know we just talked about the depth that you have at receiver on offense. You, you've got a bunch of guys on defense that are kind of flying around too. We do. Our team speed is uh, much better than it was last year, and our depth on the back end is much better than it was last year. And, you know, if you go back to the offense, um, the one area that we don't have a lot of depth is on the lines, and, and that's something, you know, we got to build as we go. But defensively, um, it's really shown we're a better tackling team, which tells me we're more athletic. Um, you know, we, I think our linebacking core is going to be really good, led by Blake Salter. He's filling in for the injured Sam Small, um, but he's a, he's a Jim Dandy of a middle linebacker. Corey Addison and Quay Huzzy, two transfers, come in and picked up, um, you know, and they're doing really well. And then we moved Jarius Williams to linebacker from safety. Um, who's had a really good camp. We're excited about him. Yeah, he had a great uh, final scrimmage, too, the other day. Well, he only had two interceptions yeah, and, and, and one fumble recovery. So he's done really well. And then Fred Harvey, um, a guy we picked up from Memphis, um, that um, we're really excited about him. Give us some depth at middle linebacker. And then T. Ray Malone, um, a true freshman, will back up Huzzy. And I'm, I'm, I'm really excited about him. I think he's going to be a good one. And then at corner, right now, Darian Skinner, um, has really been playing well, um, so we feel good about him. Kandaria Sanders, um, Josh Manning, a junior college transfer, um, Isaiah Ferris, a, a, a walk-on that we got out of a tryout, has got, boy, he's had a really good camp. And then at safety, I mean, you look out there, you got Darren Yave, you got Darius Buck, Brandon Wicks, um, you got a freshman who's maybe the best tackler on our team um, out of the same high school that, that T. Ray's on. Um, and he, he's had a good camp as well. Defensive line, though, we're going to be led by Tyler Evans. Um, Tyler has – uh, There you go. I mean, he, <laughs> he, and he has really worked hard, and I'm proud of him and hope he has a great season. Um, you got Kevin Robinson, who led the conference in sacks. Um, and then you got a few other guys that really got to step up in there. But right now, the deepest defense we've had since I've been the coach here. Well, you know, defensively, uh, Ashley Anders done a great job as your defensive coordinator. But you can kind of see from season one to season two and now to season three, uh, you've, you've added pieces. And that just comes from the recruiting process as you've targeted those, those kids that you thought could fit in and you've started to plug those guys in. Well, I think we've done a good job of recruiting high school talent. And, and I think the guys we recruited this year are, all have a chance to play for us at some point. So we're excited about that. And then on top of that, I think we've done a good job getting a transfer here or there to fill in some, some holes. They've all gelled extremely good together. So I'm excited. I think we got a good team, and hopefully that will equate to more wins than we had last well, season. Well, we, we hope so, and hopefully maybe even a spot in the postseason uh, tournament uh, starting that week of Thanksgiving. Well, we're going to take another break here on the Racer Report with Chris Hatcher. When we come back, an inside look at one of my favorite days for the racers. That's Meet the Racer Day, the Kids Clinic. We'll do that next on the Racer Report. Explore a new world. Many experiences many experiences. आइए और अपना जहां खुद बनाइए इचालो चेनु उकुसांगा आलम जदीर बल इक्तिशाफात इंटेक यू डानिवेट हो इश्वाद दोत क्रेचा यंग्स केशवेद चांग जो लेडिक मेलाई फरस फेवरिंग को विलागो तो कहीं दे तोड़े न्यक नान जो रंग बाय दुनिया अंदा उन तो पिछला जाही तन सोन दर्शन जी मरी स्टेट यूनिवर्सिटी � Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers, 
locally owned, family run. Roof Brothers, the best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers, service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers, two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers, proud supporters of Murray State Athletics. Racer fans, don't forget to check out the homepage of the Murray State Racers. That's GoRacers.com. We've got new content going up every day, including videos. We have live stats, which includes Murray State soccer and volleyball this fall. Of course, to racer football as well. You want to make it your homepage. GoRacers.com, the home of the Murray State Racers. We're back here on the Racer Report with head coach Chris Hatcher. And over the weekend at Stewart Stadium, one of my favorite things took place as it was Meet the Racers Day. It's a great day for the fans to come out and especially the kids to find out how the Murray State Racers train. Brooke Santanello has the story. The Racers football team has been hard at work this past weekend preparing for their first game against Florida State University. They took a step back to appreciate the fan base this past weekend in the Meet the Racers event. Senior right tackle Roderick Tomlin gave us his thoughts on the event. Today's event was just someone for the players to relax. I mean, it's the first week of school. And then um, also, but it was also for us to come out, have fun with the kids, get to know the kids, get to know our fans a little bit, and just tell them how we appreciate when they come out to our games and just have fun with all the fan base. Going into sports seasons, many teams and players have goals. Roderick shares with us his goals for the year. One specific goal for me is keep the quarterback up, make sure he keep his jersey clean, make sure he don't get hurt, get touched. And then on top of that, though, is just to have a fun year. Um, I don't, want to have, I don't want our teammates or anybody just to be going out there being tight and not having fun. I just want everybody to go out there, have fun, and then when everybody's having fun like we were doing like back in Little League, then everybody's going to have a good time out there and I think we'll have our best games. And then on top of that, I want to go undefeated, and that includes Florida State. With this being his last year, Roderick shares with us what he thinks it means to be a racer. I can't even put it into words. It's my last year going around. been here for five years. And I'm um, having fun with it, but it's, I'm just trying to make the best of it my last go around. So I don't even know how to put it into words. I'm just glad to come, have came here my freshman year and then glad to have five great years here. Well, it is a great day. I've mentioned before it's my favorite day in the fall with the, where the racers come out and play with the kids. And, you know, Coach, uh, the word's starting to get around. I think the, the parents know that when they bring their kids to meet the racers day, they're going to get up and close with your players. They're going to get to do all that football stuff and jump around and just have a great time. It is a great day, not only for the youngsters in the area, but, but our players really uh -huh. enjoy it too. So um, I started it um, three years ago here. I've done it at previous stops and each year it's gotten better and better. This year, um, you know, the best yet. And yeah. I think uh, um, it's a credit to our staff, um, you know, our, our entire athletic operation, um, excitement for racer football is back and, um, and I'm excited is. about that. And then again, this is a good day for our players to interact with the community, for people to see that they're, they're good folks. You know, a lot yep. of times mm -hmm. you just see them with their helmet trying to mash other people, <laughs> um, but they're good boys and they like to give back to the community. And hopefully during that particular day, we, we maybe got a few of these kids sure. that will bring their parents to the game and become racer fans for life. Absolutely, and uh, I, I always like when you can get the football players without their helmets on so people can see their faces. Is all we ever see is the helmet and their number, and uh, just a bunch of great kids here on the Murray State team. We've got our final break here with head coach Chris Hatcher on the Racer Report. We'll come back and look at the 2012 schedule in just a moment. Roof Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers, locally owned, family run. Roof Brothers, the best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers, service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers, two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers, proud supporters of Murray State Athletics.
like the thoroughbreds we are named for, racers are spirited and proud. We have the heart and will to succeed, to go farther, learn more, and embrace wisdom. We are champions who take our place in the Murray State tradition. We are racers. All right, folks, as we come back here on the race report with head coach Chris Hatcher to wrap things up, it's time to uh, look again at that 2012 schedule. Of course, Saturday is the opener at uh, Florida State. That's a 5 o'clock Central Time game, and you can watch it on ESPN3, and, of course, we'll have it uh, on the Racer Radio Network as well. And then we come back home for the home opener September the 8th against a very good Central Arkansas team. The Racers hit the road for a couple against Missouri State. The OVC opener is at Eastern Illinois. And then the racers come back home to take on the defending conference champions, Tennessee Tech, to end September. And then October begins with a game at Austin P. We always look forward to homecoming. Uh, that is uh, October 13th this year when UT Martin comes to town for a 3 p.m. kickoff. And then late October, it's at Jacksonville State. November begins with a game at Stewart Stadium against Tennessee State. Then it's a road game at Richmond against EKU and then Senior Day on November the 17th at home against Southeast Missouri State. And we also put on there that the first round of the FCS playoffs are the week of uh, Thanksgiving, that Thanksgiving weekend. And maybe if the racers do very, very well, the, they'll get a bye that weekend and be playing the next weekend. Coach, uh, your thoughts about the, about the schedule? Uh, you know, you've got some tough road games, uh, certainly when we get into OVC play. Well, it's a very difficult schedule if, if, you, if you look at it, especially from a non-conference standpoint. You know, we, we're going to Florida State. We're going to get a big paycheck. Hopefully, we'll go down there and perform well. We're going to go with the idea of winning, but, boy, that's a monumental task for our guys. Um, then we come back home, Central Arkansas, top 20 FCS opponent, played in the playoffs last season, actually beat Tennessee Tech, our champion. Um, so they're, they're a very good pro. They're probably one of the top-notch programs in, in, in our level. Then we go to Mur M Missouri State. Um, we had a wild homecoming win over them two <laughs> yeah. years ago, 72-56 or 59. 72-59. 70, yeah, right. it was a wild one. It was a lot of points. But So you don't know what you're going to get there, and then all of a sudden you go to Eastern Illinois for – the first conference game, mm -hmm. new coach, probably a new attitude, new little swagger about new helmets them. too, I understand. So, <laughs> you know, early on, it's going to be a tough road to hoe for us, and we'll find out a lot about our football team um, during those first four ball games, and I think that part of the season is going to be very critical that we play well. Okay, well, we're looking forward to it, and it's all going to start Saturday at Florida State, and, uh, and Coach, I'm just looking forward to sitting with you each week and uh, going over what's happening with the racers. Thank you. I think we're going to have a big season, and I appreciate you stopping by. Yeah, great to be here. Thank okay. you. Okay, Head Coach Chris Hatcher, this is Dave Winder. We'll see you next time on the Racer Report. <laughs>